Hey guys, well it's Pyron here. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about upgrading your iPhone or iPod Touch to version 3.1.2 for free. Um, I'm sure a lot of you already know that if you are an iPhone owner, you do not need to pay for these firmwares. Um, just because you guys are iPhone owners. But for the iPod Touch first and second generation, you need to pay for the newest firmwares, like 2.0 and 3.0. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, there's always usually little hacks that you guys can figure out. Uh, I've come up with a really, really, really easy way to upgrade your guys' device from a lower version like 1.15 or 1.5 and 2.0 and 2.1 and 2.1.2 to all the way up to version 3.1.2, which is the newest version on iTunes. Really, really, really easy step. All you guys need to do is to con connect your device into your computer and then make your way over to my description in my video and you'll see a link to a website called Felix Bruns. Now this website will redirect you or that link will redirect you to a website that allows you to download all sorts of different firmwares for the iPhone or iPod Touch. Now this video is only really relevant to the iPod Touch version, t iPod Touch first and second generation, because the iPod Touch third generation is only running on 3.1.2 because it's so new. So uh, if you're on the iPhone, this should already be free for you. But if for some reason you have issues that your iPhone is registered as an iPod Touch on iTunes and you cannot get this firmware, this video will still apply for you guys. So, let's say you're running an iPod Touch second generation. Um, all you need to do is go to the Felix Bruns website. If you're running on version 1.15, let's say, um, go to the Felix Bruns' website. You'll see a little bar at the bottom saying iPod Touch and iPhone. Click the little arrow that allows you to scroll through all the different firmwares you can choose from and click the 3.1.2 firmware. So let's say you're version 3.15, uh, iPod Touch second generation, or iPod Touch first generation. Go ahead and click the iPod Touch first generation in brackets 3.1.2 and then click download. All right. Um, now what this will do when you go to iTunes to do the following steps is it will put that firmware onto your device. So you'll now have an iPod Touch first generation version 3.1.2. Okay? So this is the next step. After you're done downloading the version 3.1.2, which I recommend saving to your desktop, just to make things easier, I need you guys to make your way over to iTunes. So once again, you need to make sure that your device is connected to the computer. So once you've done that step, open up iTunes, and then you should be able to find on the left uh, left section there, the sidebar, devices, where you'll be able to click on uh, your iPhone or iPod Touch and get a little information about it. Here you're able to check for updates, restore, and change some of the settings that, that's set on your phone. Now on the uh, restore tab, I want you guys to hold in the shift button on your computer. If you don't have a shift button, it's the arrow that's pointing up. Um, it should be under the enter bar or under the caps lock bar. Um, so go ahead and hold in shift and then left click on the restore button. Now once you do this, a new window will pop up and I want you guys to go through, go to your desktop or wherever you saved the uh, iPod Touch firmware to and I want you guys to go ahead and open up the iPod Touch firmware. And what will happen then is your device will automatically recognize that new firmware and download it straight to your device. So if you're running version 1.15 and you found the 3.1.2 for the iPod Touch first generation, that will be the firmware that is now on your device. This does not work for downgrading, only upgrading. So you guys, thank you for watching, and this works for all your devices, uh, so there's no issues for you guys. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please rate five star and subscribe, and if you would like to jailbreak your device, version 3.1.2, go ahead and check the link that you'll be able to see at the bottom right now, um, which will redirect you to either the uh, video, the jailbreak video, where I talk about how to do the jailbreak like right now, or this video is where I use an unregistered hypercam to guide you guys through it with my audio overlapping it. Alright you guys, so thank you for watching, I hope I helped, and stay tuned for more videos. So don't forget to rate 5 star, leave some comments, and subscribe.